Hello everyone, BSP here. Hope you're doing great today. Welcome to day three. I was doing some panning and I went through an entire stack of sand and only found 10 pieces of clay. So I decided to take a little walk and try to find some clay, a clay deposit. And that walk took me, this is negative 135. 5300 and our base is all the way up here at 192.61 so 5,000 blocks away just to find clay we got some crops here too so I'm probably gonna pick these up and take these back and once we get enough because we can have sustainable up there it's just the clay we need to get started and we're going to need fire clay too at some point but yeah we finally found clay we had to go a long ways for it but I'm going to get this and let's see if we can't make it back to the base found some cobblestone and made a forge I don't really need this now because I can make my own and really want flax and not rye but I won't be picky when it comes to anything will work as long as we can eat it but this is a really substantial clay deposit so let me mark this in the map Let's see, what are you doing? Got five seeds. Let's look for some seeds where we're down here. Something we can grow underground. Because we have one, two, three stacks of clay. That should do us for now. I'm shivering again. Let's see. Can we hit the ocean here. So I don't see any more. There's a raccoon around, so there's probably some berry bushes around somewhere woof I well, we couldn't tell what that was We'll see what we can find around here. Because it's three degrees in this area. Still pretty cool. Oh, I saw something. Looking for berry bushes or any kind of crop, quartz, quartz. Let me see something. Cold resistant to a negative 12, heat resistant to 27, so that would be a good cold crop. more rye I 
I might not find flax down here because I think flax has to be in warm areas. But we'll run around and try to find us some rye. I don't know what that was. Oh, oof, I know what that is. That is a no-go. Oh, I also got me some medium fertility soil on the way down here, so something that we can plant with. more rye. I guess let's go ahead and 13 C's is a decent start. That'll multiply pretty quick once we start growing it. Wouldn't mind getting a whole stack, but beggars can't be choosers, so let's go ahead and start headed back home. It's 5,000 blocks away, but we might end up moving down here at some point, but some more rye. Good thing about rye too, you can make bread out of it, and a lot of your traders you can sell rye to, so we'll have a good trade good. Just keep an eye out for this for some more rye. Got 15 seeds. Almost a quarter stack, so. Just don't want to find and get boxed in here. Have to go down deep enough that we actually get the right temperature. What's this? It's like olivine. Bismuth. We've got a very little bit of um, zinc, so the bismuth, we could actually make bismuth bronze with. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around because that was boxed in on that side, so. Let's see what we can do. I can make another one of these. 
use some of this low fertility and get up there. This might work. Freeze to death up here. Some copper. Probably I'll never get this, but it's good to mark it. But yeah, we're gonna make our way back to the house and get started on working on copper so we can start our underground farming. Once we get that set up, it'll be good. We'll have a good base to run off of and Because it's mean, if I come down here to survive the 5,000 blocks away, you're, it's kind of taken away from the point of surviving in the cold. But some things just don't spawn in the cold, it seems. So you have to come get them. So I want to try to keep my base there in the cold. Gonna take a bit to make it back home. So what I'll do is I will cut till when we're back at the house. It will take me a minute, so I will see you there. Here goes some transition magic. Boo. We're back. We're a lot colder and we went a long ways. Let's see. Ended up. Got lost. Went this way. Went all the way here. I found a meteorite. But. It's kind of hard navigating all those ups and down hills. So I'm probably going to dig a tunnel to that clay once I get tools. But let's get started on. Got some food here. Let's go get us some wood to get warmed up first and foremost. Let's see. 
watch clouds play tricks on you with the light. They just disappear all of a sudden. A rabbit. I need to clear all this brush out. Probably after a while I'll take some flint tools and just mow down all this brush so I can see. Make it a lot easier getting food. I got enough left. Well, I can make another axe. Oh, try not to die, because I about starved to death on the way back. Picked up some, um, we call it mushrooms. Got them marked on the map, because they'll grow back next season, I think. See, I got some flint here somewhere. Well, I thought I did. Another axe right there. I'll take and throw some stuff in there, keep ourselves warm, and finish this off. Get this hammer done. And we'll get a pick. Some ingot molds and ample mold. Where's the pick mold? Pickaxe mold right there. Let the auto complete do it. Then we can just knock out what's not needed. We get enough copper from panning that I can get a prospecting pick too. Okay, I'm warm back warm again. Let's go ahead and do a info mold. Get this big one out of the way. I tried to download a mod to do, um, I guess Napster or something that does this for you, makes it all auto complete. But it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know if I need to update my game or something. I'm not sure. I want to do it to save time. But it doesn't seem it wants to work. I'll have to figure out whenever I'm not recording on why it's not working. 
But for now, let's just get this stuff done. So we can get started on our tools and get these plants underground. The sooner we get them, the sooner we can multiply them. And when we run out of soil, we can just go back. Hopefully I'll have a tunnel built by then. Make it so much easier to navigate instead of having to climb up and down hills, just go a straight shot there. Okay, we're almost done. One more should be it. This should be the amble. There we go. Okay, we need. It took a lot of things to see. Two raw and get molds. And once these are cooking in the kills, I'll go ahead and start a cooking of charcoal. So we'll have it ready. Let's see, I need, you know, let's do some more of those. Caught myself trying to save time. Didn't work out. Okay, four ingots should be enough. Let's see what else do we need? Need a prospecting pick. We don't have any peat, so I can't use peat to make it cook faster. Don't know if I should do some containers while I'm at it. Play a weight on that. This is going to take, I'll probably do that off camera because I'm going to do a lot of them. And this is enough for y'all as it is. Okay, let's Got some stones lying around here somewhere.
Here we go. Use this to make a shovel to go ahead and set us up a kill. Let's find us a place to do one. so I can get some grass. grass it is. I know it's a good bit. So it takes 10 per one. Got a lot of grass out here. I'm gonna have to get some of that low fertility soil out here just for grass to grow on.
Alright, this should be enough to get the rest of it. And we gotta get sticks. Okay, that's it there. Now to go get some sticks. Wish you could take this stuff and just stack it like in a bundle or something. Gotta get this stuff cleared out anyway, so might as well get some use out of it. I think it's four sticks or eight sticks per one. set this um, shovel down and I'll start planting all little seeds again. It'll probably help out a lot in the future. Go ahead and get some plant, and we'll have a lot of trees growing in this area. I don't think it matters to trees where they're planted. Now you can't plant them on stone, but I don't think the soil quality matters. And we got the growth speed turned up on them, so we'll have some more trees in the area soon. I don't know how many days it'll take, maybe a season. I know it usually takes like a year without the speed turned up. Two more seeds. Okay, I'm gonna light them all on fire. I was thinking that um, it would take double the amount of wood for the anvil mold, but I know it takes double the amount for a container and the anvil, I mean, you would think that Alright, got the tor lit, torch lit now.
go put down this X. Go get us some really junky dirt and cover that. So I had to worry about a snowstorm coming through and putting it out. Like right here. Let's run back before it moves over there. Yeah, it's starting to rain over here now. And that should cover them. Well, this has been an eventful episode, so... Between this one and the next one, I'll make some containers and have them fired. Instead of having you watch me farm clay all the time. But I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.